dark and pleasant If they had them would be walking arm in arm For our life is good and steady till we're plucked And often running it up poetry
Uh, she didn't see you there. I don't know. It works for some. Well, if you like the sound of it so much, why don't you take a turn in the nest? And with your bugs! I just did the floor this morning! Oh, I'd, uh, I'd love to have a crack at on the edge, but you look so comfortable up there, I'd hate to disturb you. And what about that extension you promised to build in the nest? It's going to be very cramped when the little ones arrive, especially with that one big egg in the clutch. Goodness knows what size that chick is going to be. You know, I recognize a turkey's egg. Oh, drink. I'm sick of holding with my eggs. Here we go. You know what the problem was? They won't go in the water. Checking around them, all pinned down the street, screaming, Frank through, Frank through. And they still won't go in. Drake, how would a turkey's egg to be in my nest? Must be your side of the family. I don't know, Ida. I guess we'll uh, have to see who he takes after, now won't we? Yes, dear. Well, anyways, must fly. I promised to reach out to help him cut his chickens. Shall I see you back here? Where else do you suppose I'm going to be? As a duck, when you're stuck, succeeding in the middle of your nest, then at best you get bored. There goes Drake on the lake, I can see him through the rushes all the time, feeling I'm just ignored. Thank <laughs> you. 
thinking, Dad, could you do me a favor and fetch him for me? He's probably making way as uncle of the watering hole. Of course. All right, Auntie Marmar is off now. I will see you later. Auntie Marmar, what a weird name. What a good world it is. <laughs> yeah, far out. I was getting scrambled inside the headache. Don't go thinking that this is the whole world. It stretches far beyond this side of the lake, right into the churchyard. Well, I would have been that far myself. Wicked, let's explore! Wait, 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 wait. There are one or two nest schools before you paddle off. Number one, no wet, wet feet in the nest. Number two, you must feather your own nest every morning. Number three, no plankton between meals. Number four, no quacking after sunset. Number five, wait a minute, you're not all here. Hey guys, can you me another member of the gang? Oh, quack. And it's the big one. Look at the show on that. Excellent. How come he got such a big egg? Yeah, we can all switch into these smaller ones, but this guy, he gets a queen size ostrich job. <laughs> it's not fair, Mom. I want a big egg. No, it's I'm not, not fair. fair. Please. Please. Big eggs. This is a pretty good. <laughs> Hi, kids. I'm your dad. <laughs> Take a good long look at it because you probably won't see him that often. <laughs> Well, true to form, you missed it. The pitter-patter of petite paddles. Well, I'm here now. All right, kids, who's for a swim? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the matter, Ida? All that sin taken out of you? There's still one to hatch, dumb cluck. <laughs> the big one. Let me see that egg again. It's definitely a turkey's egg. You'll never get it to go in the water. I say you just leave it. Hey, cut that out. Come teach the others to swim properly with me. You teach the other ones to swim properly. I've been sitting for so long, a few more days won't make any difference. Well, have it your way, Adam. Alright, kids, last one to legs go. Wait for me!
It's not very nice. This is your son, dear. Oh my god! <laughs> I've created a monster! Don't be ridiculous. He's just not your normal friend of the mill pond duck, that's all. That's all? I, I have a reputation. I know, dear. And I wouldn't brag about it if I were you. <laughs> I'm scared. Tell you he's a turkey. He is not a turkey. He loves the water. Cranberry sauce! See? He didn't even flinch. Now, I want you all to get ready to meet the other members of the duckyard and be educated in the ways of the world. Drake! Don't stare at him! Look at him! Now the children that some big fuss. Look at him! Are you sure he's really one of us?
Maybe they'll let me assist giving him the shot. Now, in a moment, you'll be presented to her grace, the most distinguished of the life. She was once there to answer it. And you will notice the red band of water around her neck. That is the greatest distinction that Doc can enjoy. It means that she is looked up to by both men and men.
different from the rest, and who can blame them wanting to find another nest? But different is not, different isn't wrong, so why should different make me sad? Different. They're like peas from the same pot. No wonder they make fun of me. Life's harder when you're odd. But different isn't scary. Different is no threat. And though I'm still their brother, they forget. Thanks. 
It's gone to get a pig back to the river. Drink! That's enough! Well, we could have gone far. He was trying to ask me something. He um, probably just went down to the lake. You know, I'd love to swim. Not without telling me he wouldn't. Where's he gone? Uh, take it! Turkey, you check that way. Check by the milking shed. Henry, Marie, you go that way and check by the hen house. Ida, we'll take the ducklings and check by the lake. No lead operations down by the grain store. Ugly! 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 Where are you? But I like to think of it as home. Now let's see here. <coughs> Casserole of duck, duck with cherry, duck with pineapple, duck pate, duck pancakes with plum sauce. Ah, here we are. Duck a la range. Well, what are we going to have? I'm having you for lunch. <laughs> I know we are. What are we going to eat? Oh, I'll whip something up. A surprise. <laughs> My mother must have been thinking of somebody else. She told me to beware the cat. Oh, bless her. You know, mothers are all the same, really. For some reason, they think it's part of their job description to prevent us from having any fun. Not to my mother, though. Do you know what she used to say to me? You can scratch the antique furniture to sharpen up your clothes. You can lacerate the cushions if you're ever stuck in doors. You can dig up all the flowers from the freshly planted beds. And with articles of clothing, it's okay to pull some threads. But I remember as a kindergarten kitten, one phrase that's left me singularly smitten. You can play with your food before you eat it. You can cheer your child before you chew. You can play with your food, you can't beat it. So donkey, let me play with you. You can play with your food before you bite it. You can mess with your meal before you munch. You can play with your food before you find it. It's a crazy little game called Ducky, what would you like to play? It could be anything. I won't tell your mother. Anything? Well, I'd like to paddle the puddles down in the mud, tickle stickle back to the shallows. Then maybe if there's time to go slide into the sun, we'll march the fine marshmallows. I'll go slay a dragonfly, watch water boat men race. To say that cats are dangerous is clearly not the case. I'll go for plaguing that sharp and witty, and preferably with something in the kitty. You can play with your food before the table. You can dress with your children before the slice. You can play with your food before you put the hands You can dress with your 
way towards Baldwin. Then I make a little camp that is secret of the dam for me and I make the money. And if the other ducklings want to come and join our games, they have to make a promise first to stop calling me names. Oh, I'll help you to forget the way they scolded. Just as soon as I've got my napkin folded. that I'm going to spare you from ever having to encounter one. Duck! Yes, correct, it's a duck. Duck! Yes, I know it's a ruddy duck! Actually, I think I'm a mallard. <laughs> Struck out by a foul ball. No! <laughs> oh no, they're coming inside. Good idea, you hide there while the heat is off. And I'll go back to the duck yard. Well, maybe we can have lunch some other time.
Back, back, everyone, back, please. Oh, good. They're here. And rolling. So tell me, Ida, it has been a week now since your son went missing. How are you bearing up? Can you manage it here for the camera? What? Defensive. Angry. And matrimonial disquiet. Oh. All right, and close up for her headshot. Tree, what is this? This is Shaper from America's Most Feathered. <laughs> this will get us one up on the Pelicans. Uh, and here's that picture that you wanted. It's kind of torn. Yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> Ida, there have been rumors of farm where I bullied. Now, do you believe that your son ran away, or is it possible that instead of running away, he was kidnapped by his persecutors? What are you saying? No. <laughs> I'm going to leave the final word with Ida, just in case her son is out there watching. Anyways, I'm Jaber from America's Most Feathered, saying that if you have seen anything suspicious, whether it be thieving magpies or lost ducklings, our chicks will be waiting on the switchboard to take your call. Ida, it's all yours. Don't go blabbering. <laughs>
on a task the likes of we have not faced before. You will find my of geese, and I know you will do your very best. Good luck, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
reason in my life seems so
No, I've never really been into the bird butchering business. Couldn't deal with all those feathers. It's like eating a meal and flossing your teeth at the same time. No, the old woman poaches me a fresh fish. The old woman? But doesn't she hurt you? And you're a chicken. Why does she keep you stuck indoors? Wouldn't you prefer to be outside? <laughs> you must be crazy. All that scratching and scraping. I prefer my spot on the couch, thank you very much. Queenie and I are domesticated, you see. <laughs> Quack. Oh no, not you again. Falling like 
can say. <laughs> Is that any way to talk to your long-lost father, father? <laughs> your father? I mean, it certainly runs in the family. <laughs> look at him! Does he look like a duck? He is overcome. Son, come hug your daddy. Your mother and I have worried sick. Don't let him near me. He's not my father. Come now, dear. Your folk who live in glass houses shouldn't call the kettle black. Or something like that. Children will have their fun. I'm so sorry if he's caused you any kind of inconvenience, and I'm so happy you've kept him all in one piece. Come on now, Dougie. Thank the nice poultry for having you. He's a cat! He's a cat, I tell you. A sly, treacherous, double-crossing, hungry, conniving, no good tail cat! It's no good. The line's busy. Well, I love that. Mercy, another duck. What's the matter? Did you get a pond to go to? Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't you be getting back? You said his mother was worried sick. Yeah. I told you he was a tomcat. A tomcat? Don't get any funny ideas with me. We had an arrangement. Beyond the wetlands of your ilk, if we could get together, maybe share a dish of milk.
our mistake was letting her go searching for my son. Yeah, that one. It ain't right. I spent weeks feeling peace. Hearing daddy, 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 I'm depressed. Reminisce day and night. And what sort of time do you call this? We sort of lost track of time. Yeah, well, then give a who. Well, your dad does. Mom would have let us stay out. Well, Mom's not here. You're grounded. No, it's a lot of And what you pick up language like that? I told you not to hang out on that Jaybird. He's so blue. Well, you say it all the time. Yeah, but that's in a more adult, mature way. It still means the same thing. When? Mom, you'll probably be back. I don't know. Any of you feathers today? We haven't gotten around to it yet. What do you mean you haven't gotten around to it yet? You know what happens to birds who don't? Cream, they sink. But she's coming back, right? I don't know, honey. And have you eaten the pond weed that I packed for you? The pelicans don't have pond weed. The pelicans wouldn't have pond weed. Will she find pond weed? I don't know. I, I just don't know. Now, off to roost. It makes you brush your beaks. But don't use all the water. My bill's big enough. <laughs> When Ida said she'd go, I had to let her. It's a shame because his apron suits her better. Where's the joy in motherhood? And endless further, I'm happy to be done. And when you think you've seen the back of them, you find an actual fact back to square one. Thank <laughs> you. 
direction of Moreland Farm. That's north of here, isn't it? Yes. How very interesting. Too much. 
What do you need? So oh. 
then make sure you come back and visit us in the duckyard. You'll take care of him for me, won't you? This must be very hard for you. But I promise he'll be safe with us. I'm sure he will. So go on then. Take a whip. Take a run at it. You can do it. That's the way. on the lake. I've been different all my life. I was different as a duckling. I'll be even more different as a swan. I like me. I like my home. I like being different. You are certainly that. I'm so proud of you. Now, what are we waiting for? I can't wait to see Drake's reaction. I think he might lay an egg, but that might turn into doesn't bear thinking about. <coughs> Wait, you guys go on ahead. I've got some unfinished business. <laughs> oh! Hello, Doc. TV. But no, I don't get that, do I? I get shot out of the sky with a bunch of swans. I get my heart broken. <laughs> Had enough of this. Had enough of you. I'm going home. Introduced to you. Her name's Penny. 